February 19th, 2018. Well, good afternoon! Uh, my day is going well so far. I haven't really gotten anything done on the house and it's already brrr, almost two o'clock. Um, but I spent most of the morning playing with the slider track and capturing some really nice looking B-roll to share with you guys for an update. It's a little bit hard for me to shoot vlogs unlike it was earlier in the summer because I'm never doing any one thing. It's not like today I'm installing the bathroom exhaust fan because I go to screw it up and then I realize that I need to put the wires in first because I turned it 90 uh, and then in order for me to do the wires that means I need to drill the holes for the duct work through the eye joists. So it gets complicated, it gets messy, and makes shooting a video quite difficult. So I don't have the parts to finish a job like that so then I'll go and I'll work on something like a framing a wall behind a shower or I'll go move in some firewood or I'll tie up a loose end and, and move some wires for electrical or I'll set another box here that I forgot or I'll uh, add some vent piping for drains. So it's a lot of here, there, and everywhere and I'm never doing any one thing at any one particular time to make a real good video. So that's why there hasn't been a lot of content uh, in, in the last few weeks. Saying that, I do have updates to share, being we are making progress, so I'm going to show you where we're at now. As I said, today is February 19th and it is President's Day. Um, and I've got the day off, so the weekend continues for me. And uh, like I said, I spent the morning playing around a little bit. First off, I will update you on electrical. We have finished roughing in all the wires for electrical. We still need to run a wire for the thermostat and I need to get some metal boxes to terminate the wires for the range in the oven. Uh, however, the electrical is pretty much done. Uh, Dad's tied in most of the wires into the panel already as well. So we've got just a few more things to do, the oven wires, to plug into that. And then we can put the cover back on the panel. As you can see, uh, all the wires have been run. HDMI wires have been run. Uh, Cat6 cable has been run for Ethernet. And I've got speaker wires in the living room as well. So there's a lot going on in the living room here. I've got two separate circuits coming into the living room so they each have their own breaker because there's quite a few outlets and things that will be plugged into it. So I've got the living room and I've got the living room AV. Uh, that's because I'm going to have a projector, I'm going to have a drop down screen, and I'm going to have some really nice speakers. Uh, so because I split it up, uh, you'll see some boxes have AV written on the top. Uh, that that's, means they're part of the second circuit. And uh, this one also says switched, and that's because I have two, three outlets uh, that are on a light switch, so we can plug lamps into those. Here I am right now at the front of the living room, uh, or the south wall, if you have your bearings on my site. We've got a lot going on on this wall. This box is where all the speaker wires come into. So there will be uh, a bunch of plugs there so the receiver can plug into that. And then it sends it out to all the speakers and the wires are tucked behind the wall. Then I've got an outlet here and an outlet here. Uh, so I'll have a total of eight receptacles right there so I can plug in a bunch of electronics. And then this box is special. You might have heard me mention HDMI's a few seconds ago, and that's because I've got multiple video inputs coming into our living room. I've got a feed going out to the projector from the receiver here, and then I've got three wires coming in. One comes in from the back of the living room, which can also be patched in back there via jumper cord, so I could send the, either the back of the living room or the office up to the receiver, which would then send it to the projector. And then these Twisted Veins HDMI cables came uh, from Amazon as like two packs, and that's the only way you could get them. And at first I didn't need them, but I ordered them anyways. And because I had extras, I thought, you know what? 
why don't I just run HDMI wires to both bedrooms upstairs as well? Not the master bedroom, but um, call it bedrooms two and three uh, that could be used as a video studio, at least until uh, if and when we ever have kids. So not knowing which bedroom I would end up in as my video studio, um, I ran HDMIs out of both. So there's a spot upstairs that I could have a desktop or an editing computer, and then I could send a patch feed cable down here to the living room. So it would be kind of like a movie theater. I've got the mission control upstairs uh, sending video signals down here to the receiver, which could then be shown on a projector. Kind of special, kind of cool, kind of unique. This is the only opportunity I'm gonna get to do it. So, I've got bundles of HDMIs in here, as well as uh, some Cat6, so I can have hard plumbed internet to things like a Blu-ray player someday, or... Oh yeah, and then this cable goes to the screen, because I'm gonna have a motorized screen, and the motorized screen is controlled by ethernet cable, runs uh, the up and down of the screen as well. So that also comes into this box. And I was able to find boxes with three HDMIs and two Ethernets uh, faceplates covers right on Amazon. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. The power in the basement comes out of the panel right below me here. I'm standing and kneeling in the office. So the panel's right below us. The power comes up from there for the living room along with the uh, Ethernet cables and then shoots into the living room of that direction. We have run a few outlets in place uh, in the office. There's one in the kitchen, one in the dining room, kind of almost one per zone or at least one per quadrant of the house. So we could have temporary power uh, while working and could el really eliminate a lot of extension cords. Improve safety so you don't trip over them. Looks a lot cleaner when they're not all over the floor. I'm a fan of not having extension cords when I don't need it. So I've had dad pitch up several outlets for temporary use. The outlets will, however, have to be unscrewed or, or and tilted or completely unwired and taken out come drywall time because the t little tabs are gonna be in the way to get a nice clean cut um, for getting that drywall in place, which hopefully won't be too, too long from now. Along with a few temporary outlets, we also have a few light switches wired up in the hall, like I said, in the dining room here, and then we've got some lights in the kitchen as well, and the upstairs hall, and the upstairs master bedroom, uh, so we can see what we're doing, and we don't need to use sh sh floodlights anymore. It's awesome. Uh, floodlights, you know, they're always blinding you. They're never in the right spot, and then there's an extension cord that goes with them, and you're tripping over that, so <laughs> overhead light is really nice. So we wired up a few just temporary, uh, you know, sockets and light bulbs just to provide some illumination, which is sweet. Dad also wired up some floodlights outside so we can see where to park at night and uh, won't slip and trip and fall in the snow as we're getting to our cars here in the winter when we're working on the house after dark, which seems to be quite frequently because that's when the house is nice and warmed up after having a wood stove going all day. So we get a lot done in the evenings. The mornings are slow going. Uh, mo the weekend mornings are slow going. It's often cold, it's cold in the house. It's, it's tough to switch gears and focus on uh, what I need to do next again. So um, oftentimes Saturday mornings are slow. Uh, so we're doing, so again, we're doing a lot of work in the evenings. The floodlights have been wonderful. No regrets there. I've got a floodlight on every single corner of the house so I can light up my whole yard as well as a light by each door as well. So with that, I think that's the good update on electrical. Also got some LED shop lights from Costco. They are super bright and super awesome and will light up my workbench area nicely and I also got two more, so Kylie can have a workbench down here as well. She likes to garden, so uh, where all our cabinets are, are right now will be a nice potting bench for her so she can start seeds and it's a well-lit area. So that's her dedicated space. Um, those are some of the updates on electrical. We are just about done, and this panel 
is about ready to get covered up, which will be a nice safety upgrade. Um, and we won't have to look at that tangled mess of wires anymore. We tried to get them as neat as we could, but some wires got ran early while we had temporary wires in there and it got a little bit more cluttered than we would have liked. But um, anyways, clutter doesn't really matter. It's just not quite as visually appealing. Slap the cover on there, call it good to go. So the last few wires to plug into the panel are just these big heavy duty 6-3 uh, wires for the ovens. Um, we'll have a regular oven as well as a wall oven. So we've got two of those. The orange cable is uh, for the dryer. Uh, so those need to be tied into the panel and then we can get that cover on and we're done with the roughing in stage. Thank <laughs> you.